the words we use have power and shape our entire existence. So one of the things I've been doing recently, if people say, oh, what are you doing today? You know, the normal thing to say is, oh, I'm gonna go work on this. I'm gonna go work. I'm gonna go work, work, work. We use the word work. So what happens when we speak, we are we're creating a declaration to the universe. We're saying, universe, this is what I want to experience. This is what I want to create in the world. So if you say, what are you doing today? So I'm gonna go work. The universe says, okay, work. That could mean digging a hole in the ground. That could mean punch, be chopping a tree. It could be, you know, working on something. It could be running around in a hamster wheel, right? You're working. So we create the experience of work. And all we do then is now do something where we're experiencing work. But if we say, I'm gonna go create, that creates a different experience. So if you're creating a project, a book, uh, something, or even if you're at a job and you're creating something within the job, when you use that wording, you shift your mind, you shift your energy, you shift the universe, you say, I wanna experience creating something. And now you're focused on the actual creation of something. So maybe it's a project, maybe it's a book, whatever it is, you're creating it. Versus work it could be just a grind. You're just kind of grinding back and forth, left and right. And you know, how many of us have worked eight hours a day and we look at the end of the day, we're like, what did I really create here today? What really was accomplished or what, what did I produce for myself, for the world, my business, whatever. Sometimes it's nothing. And for me, I, I stopped using the word work because I realized I'm creating that reality, that experience when I use the word work. And I don't want to work on my dreams or my goals. I want to create them um, and really create them in a divine way. So that's a simple language shift. There are many, many, every, everything you say, keep, uh, view it as, as, as if you're declaring it to the world, as if you're creating it. Whatever you're saying, just view it as a declaration. So, you know, if someone says, how was your day? Oh, it sucked, it was hard, it was long. What you're saying is, universe, I want to experience again another day that is hard, that sucked, that was long. That's what I want to experience. So you could say, you could use words from the past. So like, you know, how was this experience? Oh, it was this, but be consciously aware um, and that you want to create a different path for tomorrow. So how do you, what do you want to experience tomorrow? I want to have fun. I want to enjoy it. I want to be at peace. I want to be present in my creation. I want to create from the divine um, when I'm creating this thing. So using the language for what you want to experience rather than just using it to express something or using it to express a feeling, you know, which, which could be good. You want to express to release, but also keep in mind your, there's a declarate, declarative, declarative power in your language. Like when in the Bible, and I'm, I'm not Christian, but in the Bible, there's a lot of powerful things in the Bible. It says, God said, let there be light. And then there was light right we are all have god energy within us so when you say something you are creating it you're creating that experience for yourself and for the world so be very mindful very aware of the language you're using to describe things because you are creating your reality as you do so at least in my experience and what i'm experimenting with right now so if that helps you thanks so much for watching please hit the subscribe and like button and i'll see you guys soon